Hello, hi everybody, what's going on? It's Miho from Too Close to Call, still figuring this whole thing out, trying to get these vlogs locked in. How do I look? How's the lighting? It's pretty shitty. So, hey, we're just gonna keep rolling with it, but back from my work trip down to Orlando, Florida, trying to catch up on Philly sports here. Wanted to give you guys an update on the Sixers and how they're one and three in March. Uh, not a good start for them. We all know Joel Embiid hasn't been playing and his backup, Bovon, isn't in the lineup either. So we do have our excuses if we want to use them as to why we've been recently struggling. But ultimately, you're down one superstar. You're supposed to have Simmons, Tobias Harris, Jimmy Butler. None of these guys are really stepping up and taking over for Joel. So there is some concern, as well as there was the drama in the Bulls game with Jimmy Butler, where Jimmy can audibly say loud enough so that Brett Brown could hear him that we better draw up a better effing play the second time around here. But didn't work out either way, so we lost that game twice by one point. Oh my god. And really against the Rockets, didn't even put up a fight. It was kind of embarrassing. I know we said on the podcast that it wasn't going to be close, but I was hoping I was wrong. Not so much. So... Having said all that, huge game today, Sunday, March 10th. We got the Sixers versus the Pacers. The Pacers currently occupying the three seed in the the three seed in the East and the Sixers in the four spot, one game behind them. So if they win today, they'll be tied for the three seed with the Sixers owning the tiebreaker. Now, having said that, if a positive outcome comes, if they lose today, the Celtics are only one game behind them for the fifth spot. So this game basically is for third or fifth place, depending on the outcome, with the Celtics recently turning it on as everybody was writing them off. Now they've gone and won three straight in California for the first time since 1966. So they're figuring it out here, and it's going to be the standard Boston push through the playoffs. So big news again, Joel Embiid should be playing today. Those are based on some reports, ESPN, Comcast, all the local people which is a huge thing, as we mentioned, one and three in March, but four and four overall in the eight games that he's missed. So it really shows you how average the Sixers are as a unit without Joel Embiid. Uh, so it'll be a big one today. We'll come back to you live here tonight with some reactions based on what happens. But uh, hopefully you guys are still hanging in there with the Sixers, man, because they're frustrating me. So anyway, that's the Sixers vlog. Too close to call. I'm your boy, Miho. Appreciate it. Peace.